Well, boys, we're back with another video, and uh, I'm still typing up my last video, <laughs> that experiment. I ran over to the next camp under Boss Lazam, who was in the very, very top of the keep. I wasn't really familiar with it. I had only gone down to the dungeon, so I ran up, I ran up, I ran up. The placeholder is a knife twister, and there's only one of them. He spawns right there at the head of that table. <clears throat> I need to sit down. And I've cleared out, I think, three. Yeah, three. So all the bad luck I had from the experiment camp of 70, I counted up, I loaded my log, 75. Placeholders uh, just got reset for underboss. So the only challenging thing about this camp is that you can't target, you, know, you can't attack the goblin from where we're at. The uh, furniture is in the way. So what I set up was I'll send Jobber and then back him off the fight. So then he'll run back to me. The, the placeholder will run to me and then just re-attack with Jobber, and there's no ads. So I assume the same thing will work for the boss. It's a really easy way to pull mobs when you can't have a line of sight because of obstacles like this furniture for some reason. So I, I'm going to have to use a glyph, obviously, because I, I just got done fighting the experiment. So one thing that's unique to the underboss is that the respawn is three and a half minutes. So every, well, I don't know about every, but a lot of these groups of mobs have different respawn timers from six to five and a half to four and a half to now three and a half. There might have been a five in there somewhere too. I'm not sure. So when you move into these camps, just be prepared for a time between apparently three and a half and six minutes in this zone. Uh, it's an interesting little change up that they've they've added. I, I don't know, really know what to think about it. It I guess I would say it's going to make the underboss camp really easy because if you're having to clear out a spawn every three and a half minutes, I mean, you're going to get them. So I'm just going to throw on a couple, couple runes. What I'll do is I'll send Jobber with Pet Attack, immediately hit back. Now I'm going to hope that it's just like the placeholder and nobody adds. And then we'll just see how it goes. So two, and then back, and then two. So there we go, boys. That's the pull. And I'll just get over here a little bit, and we will start the fight. This time, I will remember to change out wounds. Alright, so we will lay the dots on this guy and move on to the next. This guy's already dead, he just doesn't know. I say that, and underboss Lazam has a little bit more hit points than the rest of the mobs, it appears. We'll find out what the total is in a little bit. So silent and robes. Maybe I just had a bad string of non-crits while well, I was laying my dots on, because we're starting to move again. I was hoping maybe, since he appears to be like the, you know, Roman Reigns of things, he would have, you know, double hit points or something, but apparently not. So we'll prep, 
um, burn, and this time we'll have to use a glyph because we do not have intensity. And we'll knock this guy down. Just need to get all the lineup back on. I get a bit of a hole there. I'm not bothering with swarm pets, I just. It's not necessary. Alright, back to full lineup. And we're already at one one, so yeah. I was I I just had a bad string of non crits in the beginning because this guy's gonna be three hundred million just like the rest of them. I think we'll end this fight probably with some uh, twin cast still left on. Well, you guys know me; I'll spam them out anyway, so it might not be accurate on that. Down to nine percent. Last 2%. Let's see what happens. Alright, boys, another one in the books. The underboss Lazam is dead. Not real sure what this is. Tune? Oh, it's a tier 1 stamina hog. That's really nice, but I don't think it's going to be an upgrade for me. That's unfortunate. But let's see real quick while I take a look at this. And that's too many, too much drop in intelligence. Okay, so it's a minor upgrade. Okay, so we'll we'll take it. Alright, good good deal. I like that. Not bad. I guess I guess I'm gonna say this is a pretty good camp for us. So boys, uh that's it. There's nothing to go over because there's just one placeholder. Uh, so, just watch your time, three and a half minutes. You saw how to pull it, and that's all you guys have to do as well. Just tag with Jobber, and then bring him back to you. Re restart the fight. So there you go, boys. That's everything you need for Underboss Zam. Hope this video helps you guys of your camp. And I'll see you all in the next one.